welcome back to Pretty Girl Stock. I'm your host, Jasmine Bellamy. And today I have some very exciting news about the workhorse stock. Today we were up 14%. Yes, 14%. And why were we up? Because today President Trump got to view the truck that was made by Lordstown Motor at the White House. Looking at the futures this morning, everything was green, everything was up. So I had a feeling it would be a great day in the markets. And yes, it was. So if you didn't know, Workhorse Stock owns 10% of Lordstown's company. So they own a 10% equity in Lordstown Motors. So what does that mean? When Lordstown gets good news, that means workhorse gets good news. So it's a win-win deal. Let's look at the workhorse price target. A high target is set at $33. The median target is set at $24. And the low target is set at $20. So if they still continue to have good news, we could see prices upwards of $24 continue. Right now we're about 28 and 10 cents. Lordstown Motors plans on launching its EV pickup truck in 2021. If we go back to last year, Trump said that Workhorse will buy GM's Ohio plant. And he did a lot of work to make sure that that happened. And once it got the approval of the union, the deal did happen. Workhorse is planning production of their W15 electric pickup truck. This pickup truck is powered by lithium ion batteries mounted to the floor of the truck. This creates a low center of gravity. The battery powers also allow dual electric motor applications. The pickup trucks have 450 horsepower and 80 miles of all electric range. Trump was very excited to support and promote the truck today. It's almost like he gave it his endorsement. I believe that Trump is a huge supporter of Workhorse and that's why they may get the pending USPS contract. If we look back in 2019, Trump sent out a tweet that sent the Workhorse stock surging more than 200%. It went so fast that it crashed the website. Workhorse has had thousands of deposits for consumer and commercial versions of its W15 pickup truck. So that means they are gearing up for production. They have also had job ads featured in the Ohio papers. So this would mean great news for Ohio, especially Lordstown. This will bring lots of jobs to the area. If we take another look back at 2019, Donald Trump tweeted, great news for Ohio, just spoke to Mary Barra, CEO of General Motors, who informed me, subject to a UAW agreement, etc. GM will be selling their beautiful Lordstown plant to Workhorse, where they plan to build electric trucks. GM will also be spending $700 million in Ohio. The next tweet. In three separate locations, creating another 450 jobs, I have been working nicely with GM to get this done. Thank you, Mary B., your great governor, and Senator Rob Portman. With all the car companies coming back and much more, the USA is booming. Workhorse does have a contract confirmed with Ryder. Ryder will begin offering Workhorse's C-Series Workhorse all-electric step vans to its customers. We can see that Trump has been developing a relationship with Ohio. He is really for the Ohio economy, and he really wants to let Ohio know that he is a supporter of bringing more jobs and more money to Ohio. So with that being said, I think that the USPS contract will be a go because Trump will be rooting for it pretty soon. We'll probably hear him make some announcement closer to the election time that he did endorse his contract. So this is my opinion. I'm not a financial advisor or expert, but this is what I believe will happen. So when we take a look at the workhorse stock, I don't believe this is a stock that we should day trade or do a pump and dump. I don't think it's a temporary hold. I believe this is a stock that we can hold for a long time. So I believe that you should probably buy and hold this stock even 
maybe hold it for at least three to five years to get all the potential gains out of it. This stock has a massive upside potential that could really be beneficial to you. So however many shares you have at this price point that it is right now, I would definitely maybe add a little more if possible. As long as you're spending under $30, you should be fine. And remember, the month of October is very volatile as well. We just went to a very, very volatile month in September. The stocks were up and down. We had a lot of sell-offs, little mini dips and mini crashes. So you want to invest safely. One thing that you can do is place a trailing stop loss to deflect a crash or sell-off. Two, you could always do your own research before buying. Take the time out, read some articles, Find out about the company, who runs the company. Also find out um, the financials and their situation with that because you don't want to buy a stock that you're stuck with and you don't want to regret buying your shares. And do me a favor if you haven't already, hit the like button. Please share and subscribe to the channel. This channel is to help new investors learn the stock market, learn how to research, and stay on top of the latest news. Thanks for watching. Oh,